Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and in today's video I'm going to be talking about all my pregnancy must-haves. These are all the things that I needed during pregnancy and I hope it can help out anybody else who needs these things during pregnancy. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is very important a water bottle. You need a water bottle. I have this big one. It's a bubba. It sounds really weird, but it's amazing. You can put so much water in this and it stays cold and you need to drink a lot of water during your pregnancy for the entire pregnancy. It doesn't matter which trimester you're in, you need to drink a lot of water. I have a hard time drinking water and I don't have this with me right now, but getting water flavors like getting like little squirt bottles that have like different kinds of flavoring in them is a lifesaver. They are amazing. They help me down a water bottle in like an hour and it keeps me drinking water because I don't like the taste of water. Well, I do, but it's hard, it's hard to drink a lot of water during the day. So getting those water flavors really help. You can get so many flavors. I like the grape ones. But that helped a lot. Another thing is snacks. Because you're pregnant and you need to eat like 24 seven. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. If you've just ate a giant meal, you need snacks. And you never know when you're gonna be hungry and when you're gonna be able to eat next. So having snacks, like these little things that you can just pick at and eat. Like granola bars, I love granola bars. These peanut M&Ms are amazing. I like having snacks. Another thing is comfy clothes. You're pregnant, you're allowed to be comfy. I have on right now a giant sweater and joggers and big fluffy socks. I like to be comfy. You're pregnant, you feel uncomfortable all the time anyways, and during the first trimester, you're sick. You feel like crap. You don't wanna be in jeans and a tight shirt. You wanna be in comfy clothes, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because like I said, you're pregnant and you're allowed to do whatever you want. Another thing that helped me, this stays in with the first trimester, is nausea medication. This is perfectly safe to take during pregnancy all throughout pregnancy, I'm in my third trimester and I still get nauseous sometimes. And this helps a crap ton. It's called, uh, it says doxylamine. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a lifesaver. Talk to your doctor if you have very, if you're nauseous and you don't like it, talk to your doctor and get them to prescribe you these. They are amazing. Another thing is Tylenol, yeah. These are really nice because you will be in pain some days because you're stretching and everything is being squished up into your lungs. So having Tylenol is really nice. And Tylenol you can take throughout your whole pregnancy. Tylenol is completely safe to take. Another thing is blankets. Blankets are your best friend. You can just lay them over you. You can ball them up and put them between your legs if you like. If you need that, you can ball it up and lay it on your underneath your stomach if you want pressure taken off when you're laying on your side. You can do a lot with blankets, and they're amazing, and they're really soft and warm. And get the really soft blankets because it's amazing. And I love them. Comfy pillows. You need comfy pillows. If you don't have comfy pillows, go out and buy some comfy pillows right now. They help a lot. You don't, you're light up in bed, 
while you're sick in the first trimester and if you have back pain you're laid up in bed and you're there's a chance you might be laid up in bed a lot during pregnancy and having comfy pillows are a lifesaver they're amazing i'm going to say amazing a lot in this video because everything on that i have in front of me right now helped a lot during my pregnancy and i have not had the easiest pregnancy if you want to see how my pregnancy has been, please watch my pregnancy story. Netflix. I am so glad that I live in a day and age that has Netflix and YouTube because this stuff helps. It, get, it takes your mind off of it. It passes the time very easily. You get into a show, you get into a certain person's channel and you just binge watch the whole series or you watch every single video on their channel. I've done that. I've done it multiple times for the same people because I like their videos so much and they're just interesting. And with YouTube, you can look things up. You want to learn how to swaddle while you're laid up in bed feeling like crap? Uh, you can do it. You want to learn stuff about breastfeeding, formula feeding, like diapers and all this stuff and stuff to freak you out too because there's stuff like that on YouTube and just be careful what you look up because you don't need to know everything about pregnancy and labor and delivery because some of it is like very off-putting. I don't know how we do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it in two months. Another thing that passed time, I got into knitting. Look, this is like my third one that I'm doing. I also knit her a blanket. That's how long, how much I've been home. And I just sit in bed and I do nothing. Pick up something to pass time, to keep your hands busy is very helpful. You don't have to knit. You can do other things. You can build puzzles. You can like, you can do whatever you want, something. Just pick up something new. Try something you've always wanted to do because now you have time. Prenatal gummies. You need these. I say get the gummies because taking horse pills are very hard and they make you feel like crap and they usually taste really, really bad. I hated taking my pills because they would make me sick on top of already feeling nauseous my entire pregnancy. These do not. I only have to take two a day with food. They're great. They taste really good, actually. These are the first response prenatal vitamins. And you can take them, and you take them while you're breastfeeding, too. So that's nice. Ginger ale. Drink a lot of ginger ale, if you like it, and if that helps. It really does. Drink it cold, drink it flat, drink it fizzy, whatever. Just drink ginger ale. It's healthy for you. If you, if you're, if you like pop, and you don't want to drink like dark pop because that's not healthy even for you when you're not pregnant, drink ginger ale. It's healthy-ish. All pop isn't really healthy, but it's the healthy-ish of every pop out there and it helps with nausea and it makes you feel better a pregnancy pillow i don't have one of these but i want one but i don't have one i don't know if i'll ever get one but i hear they help a lot with like positions and stuff like that i might end up getting one there's only two months left in my pregnancy so i probably won't but get a pregnancy pillow the investment could be mind-blowing for you. A heating pad. This is one that goes around your neck. Like so. But I put it on my back because I have really bad back pain. I've had back pain since about my second trimester and as I'm getting bigger and farther along, it's getting worse. If you find you can't use heating pads because the heat makes you sick, which it now makes me feel sick, 
take a bath. They help a lot. They help relieve the pressure of your stomach off of you. It's warm and you just float around and it's relaxing and light a candle and get some bath bombs. Because baths are boring. So get some bath bombs. Ones that smell really good and like make your bath water like all kinds of colors. Like bath bombs are worth it. I love bath bombs. The only way I take a bath is for a bath bomb. And also if my back hurts, which it always hurts. A back massager would be nice too. You know, you just, sometimes you just gotta massage your stomach cause like the baby kicks a lot or like everything is stretching and you just have pain. Like just like one of those little handheld back massagers would be really nice just to massage the sides of your stomach. Massage your back, especially if you don't have a significant other to massage your back for you. You can do it yourself. Sports bras are very helpful because you're, you're growing. And sometimes having an actual bra on is very uncomfortable. Especially when your nipples start to get tingly. Mmm, that's fun. It hurts. It hurts a lot sometimes to wear a bra, so you get a sports bra. That way you still feel supported, you still feel good, but you're comfortable. Another thing is lotion. I use this body butter from the body shop. It's really nice, it smells like oranges. You can use anything you like, you can go out and buy actual like anti-stretch mark cream or you can just Put on body lotion or coconut oil or whatever suits your fancy. Just put it on because it it helps. It soothes. It soothes your stomach a lot when you're stretching and you're and you're itchy. Just put some on, rub it on. It feels so nice. And it also helps with not get stretch marks because you're keeping your skin hydrated. So yeah. Tums. I have not had to take these yet, but I hear that they are very helpful, especially if you have heartburn, which some people do get. I have not had any heartburn, praise the Lord. Knock on wood, I don't want it. But Tums help, and you can take Tums, I'm pretty sure, during pregnancy. Another thing is belly band. This is a belly band. It's stretchy and it goes around your belly and it helps with support because your belly gets heavy and sometimes you just need something to go around it to just pull everything in and just oh it feels nice it's very helpful especially if you have back pain it's very helpful with that because it takes some of the pressure off of your back because you have something supporting your belly going with that is maternity clothes these are maternity shorts See this nice band? That's nice to have. And look, they're actually really cute. I got these at h and M. I I don't know how much they were, but they're really nice. And I've been wearing them a lot with the warm weather coming. And my last thing is pregnancy and baby books. I got the big fat activity activity book for pregnant people it's really interesting there's a lot to do in it i haven't really done anything in it but there's a lot to do there's games there's stuff to read there's coloring there's check-ins like there's so much to do and it's really interesting if you like these kinds of books i got this one off amazon see tips coloring lists mazes like all this stuff and it all has to do with pregnancy and babies and all that fun stuff i also have this big book healthy beginnings give your baby the best start and from preconception to birth so these are really helpful if you like reading and you don't want to look anything up like there's a lot in here. 
about like everything you really need to know about pregnancy and your baby and all this stuff and oh, I'm so out of breath. I also have this breastfeeding book. You can get these anywhere. Any health place probably has them. You can ask your doctor, your midwife for books like this. It just talks you through breastfeeding and all this stuff and cues and latches and stuff. It's very helpful because sometimes you can't trust everything on the internet and you just gotta read a book. Reading books past time, that's another thing you could do is read books. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos on my channel if you would like. I have an Instagram. I will put the link of that in the description below. Thank you. Bye.